Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 10 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about move product from wishlist to cart. So let's see how can we move product from wishlist to cart. So first of all, go to the wishlist controller. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP controllers and from here let's, let's open wishlist controller.php. Okay. Now inside this controller, uh, let's create a new function here, public function and function name. Uh, let's say function name is move to card. And inside this, just pass here the request dollar request. Now inside this function, first of all, uh, let's fetch the item from the wish list according to this row ID. So uh, just write here dollar item is equal to card colon colon instance and set here the instance name which is with list and call the get method and pass here the row id so right here request arrow row id all right now after getting this uh, item from the card from the wish list let's remove this item from the wish list so just write here card colon colon instance and uh, wish list and just call here the remove method and pass here the row id okay so write here request arrow row id all right now let's add this item to the cart instance. So right here, cart instance. This time instance name is cart. And then call here the add method. Add. Okay. And inside this add method, just pass here the product ID, name, quantity, and price. So right here, item, uh, arrow model, arrow id then product name so right here item model arrow name and quantity one and last one price so right here item arrow model arrow and regular price okay and also set here the association with the model so let's copy this and add here okay associate and this is the path of the product model app models product and now let's return return and call here the redirect method re, uh, right, redirect and pass here the route which is with list dot list all right now save this file and uh, let's copy this function name and go to the routes the uh, routes directory and uh, let's open the web.php and here let's create a new route so add here route column column method name post and the URI with list and right here move to cart okay then big bracket controller name which is wish list controller wish list controller column column class add here the function name move to cart and now give the route name wish list dot move to cart okay now let's copy this route name and save this file now let's open the wishlist dot blade dot php file so just go inside the resources directory views and from here let's open this one wishlist dot blade dot php file and inside this file uh, let's add here one more form only for this closing section so right here form ID set the ID move to card 
and action action is equal to route and route him inside this the route method let's try it here the route name wishless dot move dot uh, cart okay and now method which is post now close this form all right then add the csrf and now create one in hidden field input hidden field input type is equal to hidden and name is equal to a row id and id is equal to let's say it is m row id okay now inside this script tag uh, let's create a javascript function function and function name uh, let's say function name is a move to card and pass one parameter row id and uh, inside this function uh, let's assign this row id value into hidden field so just copy this row input hidden field id and uh, right here dollar and hash sign in this id okay m row id and call here the val method and just pass the row id okay now submit the form so copy this uh, form id and uh, right here dollar has this id and then just call the submit method all right now let's copy this javascript function name move to card and let's call this function from this icon okay so let's find this icon okay here is the shopping cart icon okay so from this icon just call the move to cart javascript function so just add here the on click event and function name move to cart and also pass here the item row id so inside a single cart double curly bracket dollar item arrow row id okay and before this anchor tag uh, just add uh, if directive for checking the stock status so right here if if dollar item arrow model arrow stock status is equal to in stock in stock then display this link otherwise add here the else part and close this if directive in the now let's copy this and paste inside the else part okay and now from this else part i just remove this on click event and also add the class disabled okay if product is in stock so just active this link otherwise disable this link okay now save this file now it's done so let's check this now switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay in this time you can see here in this list there are four item okay and in cart there is no any product okay now let's move this product to the cart so just click on this icon and you can see here one product moved into cart now just check the product so just click on this cart icon and here is the product okay now let's try to another one so just uh, click on this icon product moved now let's check in the card and here is the product inside this card okay so in this way you can move product from this list to cart so that's all about move product from this list to cards don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching